everybody this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans it is Thursday night so we are going to talk about the new releases from Pink Punch Studio we have a whole pile of new goodies in the love core and love spell palettes they are stunning I am loving them let's just turn my Wi-Fi off that I forget every time um, all right so we got the gothic rose kit last week. These are all uh, sticker kits that were released last Friday in the Pink Punch Studio Etsy shop. This one is so pretty. It suits this color palette suits these dead roses so well. Then we got the heart doilies. I showed you a peek of these last week. These are the rose pens. We got the torn papers, the watercolors set, and we got the wire memo boards. So those are all in the Love Spell colorway. We have all that same stuff again in the Love Core colorway. These are the Gothic Roses, the paper doilies. I'm just gonna close a few tabs here. The rose pens I love these I don't know if you can see but they have like a fabric detail just as if they were like one of those real pens that you can buy so pretty the torn papers watercolors and the wire memo boards there was also a special request to get the January palettes in the new spiral notebooks so we have the starry night spiral notebooks and the Stone Cold. So all of these kits were released last Friday in the Pink Punch Studio shop. Um, so I was thinking we could use the, what was I thinking? So we're gonna do today's daily spread in my Love Core Kiss Planner. This is today's page, so it's the red color. And I was thinking we could use the mobile office kit to set up our spread. Oops, I'm just gonna reorganize my tabs so I don't start poking at the wrong thing. I'm gonna start by putting this kind of ivory color doily down first. I'm gonna move it off to the side so that it's my first layer in Good Notes, and we'll put it where we need it later. So I'm going to close the doilies. What have I got left? Rose pens, we'll use one of those. We might use papers. Um, I'm not going to use that or that. All right. So let's start. I haven't done um, one of these spreads lately. So maybe we'll do something with the iPad. I'm going to put the planner cover on my desktop first, again, because I'm just planning ahead for my layers, but I'm going to put up there out of the way. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this, I'm not going to cut it, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste this down first, and it's going to be the inside of my iPad cover. So I'm just going to tap it again and hit crop and I'm going to do a rectangle crop and I'm just going to make keep it as big as I possibly can without having any of the shading or edges. So this is going to be the background of my iPad. We're going to put that clear iPad on top when we're done. So I'm thinking we do maybe some torn papers, watercolor swashes. That doesn't stand out enough on that background. Let's pick something else. I'm 
maybe this dark pink. I think it'll pop a little better. Oh yes, there we go. And let's pick a font. We'll do my magic scroll random. Now let's go a little deeper. All right, we're in the S's. Spicy burger it is. So today, I don't even know what day it is. Today is Thursday. And we're gonna do a spicy burger two. And a spicy burger lowercase nd. I've spread them out so that I can last see them. Before I do that, I need to turn my image toggle off. And let's make that bigger. Let's get um, two next. Yep, I like that. All right. Now, let's do, I'm going to turn off my toolbar. And I'm going to tap here, and this takes me to the last page of the Kiss Planner where I have some stuff saved because I use it all the time. Let's do, I think I'm going to do little potato. So I've turned my toolbar back off. I'm going to tap to this link, which takes me to the first page. I'm going to tap on the two, and that takes me to the page that I'm building. So I'm going to put a little potato here. Actually, I'm going to put them here. I'm going to grab a watercolor swatch. I want a beige one or tan and ivory. I'm going to turn my toggle back on. This one is closest to the size I need. So I'm going to put it on top and I'm going to stretch it out until it covers pretty much my whole checklist. I'm sure you've all heard me say this a million times. Uh, this is a checklist that I've made myself uh, using Procreate. So I'm going to cut it now. I'm going to paste it down so it's my top layer. And I'm actually going to make it smaller. So after we spent all that work sizing this little watercolor thing, I'm going to change it. So I still have a bit more room. So where are our torn papers? I'm going to take this orange one. Flip it. Nope, too much. Uh, what else can we do? Maybe we'll stick with the watercolors. I need some more spicy burgers to do. Can't even read if I spelled that right. Looks like I spelled it right, but I think I did not hit the space bar. Okay. Now I need some bullets. So let's go back to that watercolor set. These three, oops, I forgot to turn my image toggle back on. Change of plans. Okay, so 
I get it to the right size and then I'm going to let it go here and then I'm going to copy it and paste it again. I can't lasso and move it because then I'd grab the other layers, which I don't want to do. I think that turned out pretty good. I need some more decor kind of stuff though. Hmm. Let's grab that iPad cover and make sure everything fits. So it's a little bit wider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this. I'm going to grab this top bar just make it a little taller. You have to be careful when you do that with some stickers because they kind of warp. But because that one didn't have any solid lines, it was just some holographic effects, it should work. All right, there we go. We've got the iPad already. Like that. Like that. This, I plan to kind of tuck underneath. I think it'll look better if I put the iPad over here so that you can see the bling on the cover. this piece of paper. Let's just zoom in and we're going to go wins, Fritzy Burger, Gratitude. And I'm going to put these on this little scrap of paper here. Oops. I forgot to turn my images off, so now when I lasso, it'll just grab the text and we'll put those back on. Okay, so now let's lasso all of that. Hmm, we did all that work to not cover up the bling, and now I'm covering it up anyhow. I like that little clasp. Okay, so I want the corner of the paper to be under the iPad, but do you see my problem here? Now I can either, I can mess around with all my layers, I could take this and crop the corner off. I think it'll be fairly easy to just grab everything here and do a cut and a paste and put it back. If I'd had more layers going, like the doily and decorating and stuff, I probably would have cropped that corner and then it wouldn't show through um, but that worked just fine now I notice that oh I'm gonna hate myself for this this isn't centered and I want it to be centered and now that means my fonts not gonna be centered There we go. So let's see if we can get this one back where it was. Okay, I think that worked out. Now, heart doily. Let's 
enlarge this. That works. I like that, I think. Now this red is tying into this and a little bit here, but I feel like it doesn't have quite enough representation on this page. I'm going to have to find somewhere to tie it in a little better. Nope, that one's not working for me. Let's use this one. Oh, that got very big. Not what I meant. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to grab this little travel mug and stick it in this corner. Maybe we should use this pen to, to keep tying in that red color. If I turn it this way, tried so hard not to cover up the little clasp on the planner and now it's covered up. I'm just gonna completely cover it. All right, this is working. I like this. sure if it'd be too much to put the stylus down as well. I almost never use the iPad, so I almost never use the stylus because I don't need a stylus if I'm not putting the iPad in my spread. That always throws me off when people make a digital planning spread of a paper notebook and then they put a stylus on it, which they wouldn't actually be using in the spread like on that desktop. Anyhow, anyway, I think we're gonna leave the stylus off. That's too much. Now I'm just fiddling with little things. I think it's time to go look at the sneak peeks. So tomorrow we will have some more Love Core and Love Spell releases in the Pink Punch Etsy shop, which is linked in the description. And I'll give you a quick peek at them. So we have the roses with the vase and the pot. So you can make a rose plant for your desktop. That's the Love Spell colorway. And then here is the patterned note papers in washi. They're so pretty. So that's in Love Spell. And then naturally we have them in Love Core as well. I think we need to pop one of these in the top corner. And maybe stick a little of this under that iPad screen for some prettiness. So I'm going to paste this down. What else do I want to use? Maybe this one. Okay. And now I'm going to take this and do a cut 
and a paste. So now the iPad screen is back to being the top layer on my spread. And these two stickers that I placed on are going to be a lower layer. So I can stick them on to make it pretty. like it. All right, now we need a rose. So you can take these, oops, I got two, and fill up the vase. The vase needs to be, <laughs> oh, hang on. So you can make your own little bouquet here with the roses. If you wanted. Or you can put them in the pot as if they were a living plant. Lots of options. I'm gonna hit undo to put everything back where it was. I'm going to grab this reddish one that's in our spread so much and I'm going to do no options and just pop it in the corner here. Perfect. And there is my spread for tomorrow, today. <laughs> All done up with the Love Core stuff. So I hope you liked that. Please check out the description. I will link the Pink Punch Studio Facebook and Etsy in the description. There's also my 10% discount code there as well. Um, I think that's everything. So those two kits in the two colorways, these will be released tomorrow. Keep an eye on the Facebook group for the announcement or the Etsy shop for the updates. Uh, there will be lots more. Those are just two that I thought I would sneak peek to you. So I hope you like that. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Um, I'll be back on my new plan with me nights from our Monday. So I'll be back Monday night to do some more planning with you. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.